We've come such a long way in the practice of medicine. When I was trained, if you had a heart attack, you lay in bed for six weeks, and then you got home, and then you'd have to rehabilitate for six months just to get over it, having been in bed for so long. Now we can treat people so rapidly, they barely have any heart damage. When a major vessel gets blocked, that's called a STEMI, ST elevation MI. STEMI is a type of heart attack. In that category of heart attack, rapid opening of that vessel is life-saving. And by doing it in a rapid fashion, we can restore a person back to the way they were even before the heart attack. This is a huge amount of work that has to happen. You have to diagnose it, you have to get an IV, you gotta get blood tests, you gotta make the clinical decision, you have to get them to the cath lab, you have to do a diagnostic angiogram, you gotta find out where the vessel is blocked, you gotta put a wire down the vessel, then you have to put a balloon down the vessel and inflate the balloon and the clock stops at that point. Now, in Intermountain Healthcare at all of our hub hospitals, McKay Hospital, Intermount Medical Center, Utah Valley Regional Medical Center, and Dixie Regional Medical Center are door, that means the time the person comes to the ED to when that vessel is open. Uh, we've achieved that in less than 90 minutes, essentially 100% of the time for all regions. And so we worked for six months with a multidisciplinary team of everybody coordinating and working through all the logistics to have a perfect process of care that's reproducible 24 seven. And a lot of the time it's after hours and on weekends. Now, what's remarkable that no one else in the world has been able to achieve is we've done this for four years straight, 100% of the time. Every patient that presented with a STEMI to any of our five hospitals have had their vessel open in less than 90 minutes. But I believe Intermountain Healthcare has uh, probably one of the best cardiovascular programs in the country, if not the world. We've been able to achieve this alignment of the entire system. It's a team effort. It's infrastructure that's essential for excellence in care.